Fishing. Hey guys, I want to teach you a little bit about uh, frogging. Uh, so, this actually is the live target something frog. Or it's a live, or it's a, um, no, it's a booyah. Actually, I don't know what it is. It's, it's a nice frog though. I think it ran me about 12 bucks. Nice frog. Um, so what I, I what I would recommend my modification that I do to my frogs is I add a rattle. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, I added a rattle in there, um, and then it kind of without holding it in place, it sounds like that. But in the whole frog. sounds like that uh yeah so and then so that's one of my modifications I stick a rattle in uh, in the weight um another modification that I do to my frogs is I uh, I take my uh, my little my hooks here and as you can see they're bent I think a lot of people do this they're bent inward on each other I just bend them out a little just a little though so I take my pliers So, they're, they're bent out a little bit. You see, so, you still want them to be weedless, and they're even more weedless in this way. You know? Uh, and then you're going to have a better hookup ratio. And then the third mod I do is I cut my... Uh, I cut my frog's legs to like there. See? So again, I cut my frog's legs to like the whole the whole body length like this. See? Third tip. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little bit just about holly, hollow body frogs. Yeah, so there's like or uh, soft body frogs, like uh, this uh, this toad here. Yes, bass love these, and these are great. But when is a hollow body better than, in my opinion, when is a hollow body better than uh, like one of these plastic ones, like uh, the horny toads or the rabbits? Um, personally, I catch more on rivets, the horny toad, or than horny toads, you know, than these guys. Um, but what I would say is I would say if I were to pick, these are my two favorite frogs. Uh, I would use this one when the conditions are kind of thinner pads and like not too much and I gotta go a little bit more realistic on the bottom of them whereas with this guy I mean that's not very realistic so I would go when it's a little bit thicker and when I mean thick like thick thick like eight inches and then when I talk like uh like like shallow I'm saying like one one and a half inch which is pretty thick to the northern uh the northern united states where which is where i live i live in minnesota um 
And then I give a lot of hate to Minnesota, too. But, uh, yeah, I would go, what I would go with is just, um, like a hollow body when you gotta go realistic. And one of these when you just gotta, you just gotta throw something out there that looks, or that, that sounds like something a little bit more, like, gives it a little bit more commotion. Like, uh, if you live in, uh, the Minneapolis area, you'll know, uh, like, Lake Harriet. Uh, southeast, there's a southeast dock, not the one by the band shell, but the other one. Yeah, over there to, if you face the dock to the T, it's fishing dock, and to the right side of that, there's a bunch of weeds. You go down a little ways, and you find a little opening in the trees, you wait in there, you walk down. You throw one of these, you catch a ton of fish. I've tried to throw one of these, caught maybe two fish. Not very good. So, uh, tell me in the comments what video I should do next or what video I should do sometime in the future. And just comment something nice. Just It really doesn't matter what you comment. Just comment something nice like, hey man, nice video. Be like, thanks, man. Or comment, what rattle did you use? I can tell you right now what rattle I used, but actually, you know what? I'll tell you. So, a while ago, I got these jigs. Oh, and shout out to uh, On Edge Angling. Uh, one of the people there uh, returned. A chatterbait to me after someone stole it. Yeah, so someone stole a couple chatterbaits from me. And then that person uh, returned them. So, shout out to those guys that on edge angling. Or at least that's what the guy told me his his YouTube channel was. So go check them out. Um, but what I've been doing is I've been getting these uh, these jigs like this. Okay, so they come with a rattle on. You see that rattle? Yeah. Yeah, so you hear the rattle. And then what I do is I just rip off the rattle. See, so I just rip it off. Because I don't like rattles, but I like these jigs. Um, they're pretty expensive, but they're one of my favorite jigs, although I hate the rattles. So I leave the rattle in one or two in case I have extreme conditions. But otherwise, I just fish them straight up. Bam. Bam. Wham. Bam. Bam. Catch a ton of fish. So, now I'm going to show you a little bit of how to rig uh, these frogs. Got to grab my rod. Soaking wet. We had a really bad or really big rain today. Nice. I cut off my hook. Okay. So, uh, here's what you want to do. Ignore the fact that I have a hook in my mouth. So, what you want to do here. So. Zoom in here. Wait. Oh. Okay. So.
Oh, wait, look. So, take that line, right? Uh, and I actually, in case you're wondering what I'm filming this on, why well, it's not as good as my GoPro, it's because I'm filming it on my iPad. God, iPad. God, God Apple, Apple, like, like, cameras. And then the iPads here, like, that are, like, they're tiny. They're not even, they're... It's about the size of the eye of the hook. They're tiny. I they're freaking tiny. Like they're just bad quality. Okay, so now look. So I take the eyelet of your uh, frog, stick it through. And by the way, you use this for braid. This is a nut that you can use for any type of fishing line, except for floral. You can't use it for floral carbon. You only can use it for braid and mono. I'm pretty sure there are other types, but I don't know about. Uh, but those are the main ones that I use. Is a floral braid, and uh, what the hell? Okay, I screwed up. <laughs> okay, so you, you what you gotta do is you gotta stick it. Through. Just take it. Oh, around. So, like, stick it double through the loop, the eye loop. You see that, right? So I fold it in half and stuck it through. And all I want to do is have it hang. Hold both sides, tip it. Open it up, grab the inside, pull it around, do an overhand knot. Pull that knot tight. Take your finger now, grab the loop. Oops. Grab the loop, open it up, grab the frog. Turn it around to the, the belly, just like that. Slide the loop around. Pull on your main line and your extra line. Tighten it down. And then just come in here with your, uh, your knife and just Make a swift little cut down there. Now you got a frog. Securely tied on. Now the bass. They'll just come and nail this man. It's ridiculous what's gonna happen. So as always. This is fishing addiction. Signing out. Like, comment, subscribe. See ya.